gold and silver, Amen. that they may offer unto the Lord an offer of righteousness. Amen. 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 Yes, he prophesied at this time, when they were the priests, we are the priests of God, come on. Yes, and the Levites, come on. Amen. They'll make an offer, yes. Praise and it shall be an offer of pie, and it shall purify. Amen. The Holy Ghost came now as fire from heaven. Amen. And it purified the Praise hearts the of all of them that were in their room. That's right. Praise the Lord. That's right. Fulfilling this prophecy here. And G, John the Baptist came along. After that, he said, he, talking about G, he shall baptize you with the fire and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And Jesus said, I have not come to, to destroy, but I have come to bring the fire. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Listen to it. Jesus said, I have come to bring fire in the earth. Yes. Amen. He brought fire in the earth. Amen. He stirred people up everywhere he went. That's right. Everywhere he went. Amen. He had a pattern behind him. Amen. People were on fire. That's right. Amen. Amen. They had a story to tell. Yes, sir. And we got a story to tell. Amen. Yes, sir. I believe the Lord with all Amen. the heart. Praise can Lord. we keep back? Can we, can we hide it back or keep it back? No. We got to tell it. Amen. Amen. Those two boys on the way to the mass there on the day after Jesus was resurrected, whenever he appeared unto them and, and told them some things there, they sat down to eat and he blessed the food and they opened up their eyes. And never they said, look, he was gone. And you know what they said? Did my heart burn with it? Did my heart burn with it? That's when right. they opened up the scriptures to us. Praise yeah, they burned. There's a burning in my bones. Yeah. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Burning in my bones. Amen. It takes a church of power. A church of weight. A church of unity. Love and spiritual demonstration. Amen. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Amen. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Yes, sir. Where are the shouts and the hallelujahs and the strong amens? There's joy and salvation. Amen. This is what it will take to wake up people that are in sin. That's right. This is what it will take. Yes, when they walk through them doors, they'll feel God. Amen. Amen. And get under conviction. That's when right. When they walk through the doors. That's a church on fire. Amen. That's a live church. Yes, Amen. 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 Yes, sir. I tell you one thing. Somewhere along the way, we lost something. Amen. Come on, brother. Yes, sir. I believe this is the church of God. Right? Amen. Amen. I'm looking at the church of God. Amen. I'm looking at it, not believe with all my heart. But we can grow some more and get closer Amen. to God. Amen. Get back to where we need to get back yes, to the old landmarks. Amen. Come on, get closer to God. Amen. And whenever we shake hands with a person or say something to it, they'll feel the power of God in our voice. Yes, sir. Have a live testimony. Amen. Amen. I like my sister Roman's testimony. Yes, yes, indeed. I think it set this place on fire. Yes, Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. A man's testimony. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, ones, this is what God expects of us. Amen. Be alive. Amen. Yes. Man, you don't have to hold a mirror down over your mouth to see if you're alive or breathing. <laughs> Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 59 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that he cannot say, neither his ear heavy, that he cannot hear. That's right. We're talking about getting a hold of God for this revival. Amen. Amen. Awake, church. His hand is not shortened. That's right. And his ear is not dull of hearing. Amen. Amen. He can be touched. Amen. And it is His delight. It is His delight to save souls. Yes. Amen. It is not His will that any should perish. Amen. But all should come to repentance. That's the will of God. Amen. He will salvation Amen. to every living soul upon the earth. <laughs> and if you miss it because you chose to, that's right. you're not going to be able to say when you get there, Lord, I didn't know. That's right. That's right. Because the Bible comes in Isaiah 35 and 8. There's a hobby there and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. Amen. It's not just any old thing, no, sir. It shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. Amen. It shall not even be able to go up there home. 
A sinner can't get in the church. They gotta get saved to get Amen. in the church. Amen. 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 Though a man may be a wayfaring fool, he don't know A from B. He need not err of thy ears. Amen. He can understand how to be saved. Amen. The Holy Ghost will teach him. If you get under conviction and come to the Lord and ask God to forgive him. That's right. You don't have to go through a long detail, tell this kind of story, that kind of story. Lord, forgive me. Amen. And need it with your heart. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's yes, right. Amen. That's the truth. That's what it takes. Amen. From your heart. Amen. I can't tell you how to get saved. I can tell you what you need to do to That's get saved. Right. But you've got to make the confession to Christ, not Amen. you. That's right. I'm not that kind of a priest. I said, as a priest, we're kings and priests. Right. When you get in the church, you're kings and priests. That's Come on. Right. That's right. You don't make us kings and priests, what the book says. That's right. But I can't forgive your sins. That's right. That's right. Only God can forgive sins. That's right. And it is Him that is offended. Yes. It is Him that holds us against you because you have sinned against Him. That's right. That's right. Did you know we kind of we kind of love see we we talk about a, a child abuser being one of the worst sinners in the world and it is a horrible sin right. and it is it's something that I hate. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. You can hate some things. Amen. Yeah, was a liar, a thief. But did you know the most horrible sin that people commit is to turn their back on Jesus Christ who died for their sin Amen. so they can go to heaven? To reject Him is the most horrible sin you could ever commit. Amen. And how it grieves God to know that He sent His Son Jesus into this world to deliver you and save you from sin and you will reject Him. That's right. There couldn't be any more horrible sin than that. That's true. Amen. 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 Be quiet on me now. That's, That's true. That's true. Right. Preach the on the Word. Amen. Amen. Preach the truth. Amen. And don't get tired. Praise the Lord. What did he say? Behold, the Lord's hand not shortened, that it cannot say. Right. Neither is very heavy, that it cannot hear. It is not the Lord. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 13, You are the salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. But if the salt had lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing but to cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. In verse 14, you're the light of the world, a city that's set on a hill that cannot be hid. Amen. 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 It is not God. God's willing any time. Amen. We are the salt. We're that preserving element of the church. Amen. Amen. But every now and then we need to take inventory. Yes. Hmm? Yes, sir. That's right. Amen. Look at this. That's right. Amen. When we have done our best, very best, we're still unprofitable servants. The book says that. That's right. Does it? Yes, it does. Amen. Where's the amen at? Amen. amen. What does it say? Amen. Amen. We have done that which we ought to have done when we pray. That's right. And when we work later to see others. We've done the good job. Amen. Amen. I use that expression, you know. I believe it was H.M. Regal. I was talking to a man one time, he was going by him. He was plowing in the field and stopped. H.M. Regal was a pioneer brother. Wrote a lot of books, good books, preached a lot. And he invited him to come to church. He said, Well, he won't. He said, oh, you did Yeah. He said, well, what church do you go to? He said, I'm a Episcopal. He said, who could find you? Well, he said, I don't know about that. I was down in Norway one time, and it was on Sunday, and I was walking down the street, the sidewalk. I thought, well, it'd be a good thing to go to church. So I passed this church, and back up and started, walked in. I sat down. I looked in the back of the rostrum. There was a sign back there. It said, I have not done that which I should have done. And I have done that which I should not have done. Mm -hmm. I said, that suits me to see. Yes. It's just me. So I became a Christian. 